is up guys, Bobgar here, and we're playing some Mono White Knights in Modern. $10 deck. These are $10 worth of Mono White Knights. Hello. Good luck. I think I'm going to keep one. I have a whole bunch of one drops. Probably too many. And two, I have Knight of the White Orchid. I do need to get a second mana, but if I get a second mana, I can get a third mana probably. So, Also, the last two games I played, I was just flooded to a point that was totally ridiculous and I don't want to get flooded again like that and this hand doesn't look like it's going to flood quite as badly hopefully I can actually end up casting spells but you know, if I can't, what are you going to do pseudo warfare, at least I have if I really don't draw a land next turn which feels unlikely to me but if I don't, at least I have a dump for my mana there's some question next turn of if I don't, do I put two into student or do I yeah we'll see cavern on what is it zombies or something vampires it's black tribal oh it's humans maybe white black humans or something because humans you would normally go mono black no humans to play for two mana seems a little weird maybe as a kill spell it wants to wait till I dump my mana in well I got my second land I don't want to play knight yet so the question is, do I boost this guy by two, or do I put in two Student of Warfares? Which one is more punishing to my opponent? I think going wide might make sense with all the Knight Exemplar in my hand. He has a one drop, he's going to play off file, and that's going to trade with my Knight, that's fine. Nope, he just takes one. Seems reasonable. Knights vs. Humans, the ultimate death match. I think his might be a uh, more expensive build than mine, given that he has two cards, I think each of which is as expensive as my whole deck. Maybe that's not true. I don't, Aether Vial didn't used to be that much on Magic Online. I don't know how much it is now. Cavern of Souls, though. Cavern of Souls is very expensive. Oh, both pointed at humans. He has a lot of mana now. Plays. Okay. Liliana. That's pretty good. Um, well, I really wanted to Knight's Exemplar. Or rather, yeah, Knight of the White Orchid here, but maybe I'm going to just Journey to Nowhere. And then the question is do I swing with a bunch of 1 1s when he could have a 2 drop? He gives up. Alright. Um, well, I could bring in Fragmentize. The target I saw was Aether Vial. And it's really good if he has the Aether Vial, otherwise it's not. Uh, Paladin Illivec seems good. I'll put, go down a couple Silverblade Paladins for it, just because I want to hit um, the protection from black and red could be pretty good. Grave the Elements, maybe? I mean... I won on turn three doing nothing, so I guess I'll just run it back. Just with that with that tiny change, I guess it's not technically running it back, but one small change and then go for it. Got removal again, got an honor of the pure, got a turn one drop. Got a knight's exemplar, got paladin Ovec to get past his black. He has the turn one aether vial again, which is annoying. Alright. I get this is actually a time where I wouldn't mind extra lands. At least to get up to three. Student of Warfare. Depending on what he does, I could see doing a lot of things. I'll probably honor the pure next turn, but yeah, it depends. Godless Shrine. Tapped or untapped? That's the question. So he is white black, untapped. I mean, probably has something here. Bob, sure. Um, how good is Bob against me? I, mean, I could power this guy up to be a three-three and swing by him. I think I just journey to nowhere. Him. I don't want to risk it. Oh, 
hopefully I get a land next turn and I can just go knight into level up student or knight into honor. Oh, he has a 1-1? One, one? Alright, sure, we can trade. I'm assuming it's a trade. Yeah, it's a trade. I, mean, I guess you could get that one back at some point, but that's fine. Oh, that can't block. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot that can't block. I wonder if he forgot that can't block. I guess it puts pressure on me, though, pretty well. It's a zombie, though. He's... I thought he was humans tribal. I'm slightly confused about what his deck is trying to do. It's up to three mana. He ghost quarter me. It's not going to work very well since I play pretty much all basics, unless he has Leon and Arbiter or something, which I guess he could have. Oh yeah, that guy. That guy's neat. Well, I'm not super worried about swinging in against that guy. Okay, he swings in there. Sure, I'll take... He does have protection from white and black, which is a little annoying. But I guess I can just play down Paladin and Vec. Um, but I won't here. Right? He does this on draw step. Does he have... He has Tide Hollow Sculler. I do not understand his deck at all. Um, I don't know what he takes here. A lot of good choices. Huh, interesting does give all my guys indestructible, which is pretty nice. And I have to Knight of the White Orchid here. I'm so far behind at this point. It does stifle his ability to swing in pretty well. Get a land. Can't play anything with it, unfortunately. And then I just pass. But I can play Paladin and back next turn, and then the turn after that, link it to my Silver Blade, and then do quite a bit of damage. Feel, it would feel pretty good. Must have a lot of three drops to play, maybe. Oh, I should have leveled up my student. I'm a huge. That's a huge punt. Huge punt by me. That's all right. Whatever. My opponent. What does he do? My opponent does something. Probably eventually. Maybe. He's a zombie deck. Why did he keep choosing humans? I don't get it. He could attack with the cavalier, which is what he does. Sure, that's fine. Attacking all? Oh, alright. Oh, I'll snap off a block here. I mean, if he has a way to stop me, that's fine. That seems fine. He has... Oh, he makes them all bigger? Sure, that's fine. I guess I should have blocked the other one. I mean, good beats, right? This is probably close to his optimal draw, I would guess. Especially against me, this has to be a sideboard card because it's such a bad knight otherwise. Or such a bad zombie otherwise. Um, Paladin and Vec. Let's level this guy up, which I forgot to do last time, and then pass turn. He has Path. God damn it. Well, this might be scoop territory. I mean,. F6, he has one card in hand. Hey, he was out of cards last time. Oh, I guess he had the path. He was probably thinking about whether to use it or to wait. Waiting was the correct move, so he did that correctly. Otherwise, I would have leveled this guy up to three and swung in, probably. Or I leveled him up to two, so it was a three three and swung in. Okay, swings all. Uh, sure. I'm pretty punished here because I forgot to level this guy up, unfortunately. Go to one. I don't know if I can recover here. Probably not. Oh my god, he drew more action? Jesus Christ. That is really lucky. Yep, he did. He drew... Man. Uh, yeah, not much you can say about that. Well, play down this... I, I don't even know why I'm doing this. If he's if he's even paying attention, he just wins. So I'll just scoop. Let's move to game three. Uh, his deck seems very beatable on the bright side. Anything I need to know. Brave the Elements is okay against him. Like pretty much all his stuff is black. Plus, I can phase a path with it. Probably better than Bone Splitters here. Um, 
Paladin and Vex seemed great, but he did have the path for it. I could run um, Tormod's Crypt, but it doesn't seem super important. Could run Oblivion Ring, but it doesn't seem super important. I think I like the deck as it is. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely don't want to go down Creature Threats. I could go down another Honor of the Pure. But I lost that game because I didn't have enough Creature Threats on the board. So you can't... can't no, I think this is a keep, but no one drop makes it pretty bad. I do have an exile card for the first strong thing he plays, which is nice. But I have a I have a pretty big fear that this will just get behind on board pretty quickly. We'll see. We'll see if he has Aether by all turn one for the third turn in a row two, th third game in a row two. It's statistically incredibly unlikely, but I've played against enough decks that run Aether by all to know that it just, you know, sometimes it happens. Yep, there you go. I think I'm just gonna play Honor the Pure. Honor the Pure into Paladin and Vec. No plays. Oh no, he does have a play. Godless Shrine tapped. Sure. I'll play the Paladin and Vec and pass. Okay, he Aether Vial's in. Not relevant to me playing Paladin and Vec, so it was a little silly, but that's all right. You could have done that anytime. Don't know if it's worth it to journey to nowhere, the Grave Crawler. He does have certainly scarier things that he could play. And this guy, he needs his path to deal with. Um, in this much of his deck, it would be unlikely that he would have one, but obviously certainly not super unlikely. Just like less than 50% chance or something. Like 30% chance. Uh, of course he has one. Well, he could not draw better. Hitting that old almost 0% chance, but why not? You might as well have everything, every game. And I draw more land. Oh my god. Out of the way, Orchid. I'm at 5 mana now. It's not getting any better. Nice Templar. Sure. Paying costs? Oh, he fatal pushes it. Sure, wouldn't he rather do that on Night Exemplar anyway? Man, he's gotten ridiculously lucky. Like, just absolutely insanely lucky. Um, yeah, this is frustrating. Well, getting the second Aether Vial is at least somewhat punishing for him. Attack with Gravecrawler if he wants. Attack with that guy if he wants to, sure. Right? Plus one plus O, sure. Not a land. Hey, that's not a land. That's a pretty good one. Well, I'm just going to play on my land. I don't think there's any reason to hold him in hand at this point. Knight of the Metal Green. Pretty good for racing, at least. Okay, he's probably one of the protection guys, given his luck. Yep. You can't have that many of them, but the ones he has, he draws. I mean, right? Doesn't kill my guy or anything, just, just annoying. Okay. Short. So he's drawn 
one of his four paths and two of his probably not more than two or three sideboard cards this game. And we've drawn six lands. Yep, seems like something that happens occasionally. It's just the way magic works. Occasionally, occasionally you get the bad beats. Okay, he passes because he can't eat my guys. Sure. Well, now all my guys are indestructible, so now he kind of needs path. Hopefully he doesn't draw another one. Maybe that's not true. Maybe he has one hand he's going to use it. Can't fatal push that guy. Um, I guess I just pass. There's really no reason to use Journey to Nowhere on any of those guys. I could start swinging in next turn with three. You figure he has to take four damage off it. Might be worth it. Plays a grave caller, sure. So zero cards. Gets to draw a card, sure. He swings all. Block here. Okay. Uh, he pump fakes with his Aether Vial, I guess. I gain 5 life, he deals 4 to me, unless he pumps. Okay, he gives up. I guess we did win the match. Uh, man, that is incredible given his draw. And I did have more action coming at least. Oh yeah, that would have been really good. So I had 3 action cards in a row. We, we probably would have gotten there. Uh, man, I sorry for complaining so much. It's just a little tilting when your opponent draws all of his sideboard and he has all the answers to your sideboard and I guess I should be running this guy too. I did consider it. He's he's a pretty good sideboard knight. Anyway, uh, well, I guess we won match two. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, Bobgar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.